Hallelujah. 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 Beloved, you are welcome to another Pinot Global Day of Fasting and Prayer. As we all know, prayer is the opportunity that God has given to you to say something about your life. And I want to tell you that there are different dimensions of prayers. There are different dimensions of what? Of prayers. There are, there's, the dimension of prayer you get to determines the kind of result you would have. And now that also says that depending on your challenge, you cannot pray like someone that is having malaria when your own situation is something worse than malaria. I hope you get my point. And so it is depending on how the burden you feel in your heart. Prayer is generated, prayer is fueled by the burden and the weight of what the person is carrying. And so if you don't know how to pray, you have not learned how to understand the weight of your burden. You've not learned to go come to the point where you say, "I this is what is my challenge and this is the level I have to get to in prayers. You get my point. We, the reason we keep encouraging you to pray is because you feel that there is another alternative. You feel that there is, a, there is an alternative. You feel that there is another way to go about it. But when you see that prayer is the only way to go about it. Prayer is the only solution. Prayer is the only instrument that you have to fight this battle and win in life, in destiny, in career, in ministry all around prayer is the only way to fight this battle and win prayer is the only way to get access to whatever you would want whatever you need from god to any dimension and level you will get a prayer is the only way Prayer is the only way to get to whatever situation dimension you would want to get to and we have been talking about the supernatural power. The level of the supernatural power you will carry is the level you can go in your prayers. Did you hear me? The level you can go with your prayer. The supernatural power is an answer. Is the answer to whatever situation in your life. It has, the supernatural power has the capacity to deal with anything you are carrying on your own self. It also has the capacity to deal with other people's challenge that come around you. You did not hear me. I said that the supernatural power has the capacity to deal with whatever is troubling you in your own life, it also has the capacity to deal with any challenge that you are carrying. You get my point? How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power. Now that he went about doing good, delivering people, saving people, healing the sick. All those things happen. These are the way. This is a transmission. What comes out from the person that is carrying the supernatural power. But don't also forget that that supernatural power still has the capacity to heal you. Now let us look at something in that Acts chapter 2. The Bible said that the disciples came together waiting for the Holy Spirit as has been promised. Now I want to tell you, among those people might be people that have waited for 10 years. Maybe they're having some pains. They have, there are some things in their life. When the power came, the Bible said they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. If there was any chain or sickness in their body at that time, it would break. Because the anointing presence of God that has been generated through their period and in-depth nature in prayer. For those 10 days cannot hold, the, the chains cannot hold it. The chains cannot hold that supernatural power that came that day. And so when we are telling you to get into prayers, get into prayers, get to a dimension in prayers, that the chains will no longer be able to stay on your shoulder. The Bible said that the anointing breaks the yoke. Unfortunately, we think that the anointing that place is talking about is the anointing of, uh, that, you, that is poured upon your head. We feel that is the anointing of that the G.O. We feel that is the anointing of, of this social man of God. It's the anointing God from this ministry. No, that is talking about an internal generated anointing that it comes through your in depth nature as you draw closer in the place of prayer. And so we are saying there are keys to this supernatural power. You must understand that you have to prepare yourself. First thing is that you acknowledge that the supernatural is real. 
I was talking to a pastor some years back and I told him, I said, the supernatural is real. Spiritual things are real. You must understand that the supernatural power of God is real. You cannot come into reality with something you don't believe. You cannot carry, you cannot manifest something you don't believe that exists. The Bible said that those that will receive reward from God must believe that He is. The same way that if you must contact supernatural power from God, you must believe that the supernatural power exists. Yes, we can say Satan has power, but the counterfeit he is manifesting is only a proof that there is the original. You did not hear me. I said the counterfeit we see in the manifestations of God's power is only a proof that there is the original. The original is with God and God alone. They can fake it. They can camouflage. They can prepare. They can use Satan's power. But the original remains with God. And you must believe that the original is, despite the, the numerous flaunting of the fake, does not change the fact that the original is still there. You didn't hear me. There is still genuine power of God to heal the sick. There is still genuine power of God to break the yoke of sickness. There is still genuine power of God to break generational curses. There is still genuine power of God to break every lock in your destiny. There is still genuine power of God to set you free from every way, from every cause in life. There is still the genuine power of God. So brother, sister, believe as we tell you that there is still the genuine power of God to deal with that your situation. Believe if we tell you that. There is still the genuine power of God. And we are not telling you because we are, we are just trying to motivate you. We are saying that we have seen this thing. Somewhere in John, John said, we saw him. We experienced him. We heard him. We felt this thing we are testifying about. We have seen it in our life. We have seen it in our ministry. If you follow on the platform, if you have been on the platform for a long time, you discover that there are some people that share testimonies of some kind of situation that looks impossible. That looks impossible. Sister Vicky told me some time ago that her, uh, some fingers of her sh is uh, shorter than the others. But um, a morning she woke up, they all grew back to normal, to the same length. And so there is power of God to do anything. We call it creative miracles. Any kind of thing, the power of God is able to. But to get to this dimension of power, you don't only sit down there and be someone that the power will be exerted on, but also be a person that carries this power. Some people on this platform are only waiting for the day they will get their miracle and they will leave. They are waiting for the day God will answer their prayers. And once God answers their prayers, they become dormant on the platform. Once God answers their prayer, they stop responding to peanut global day of fasting and prayers. Once God answered it, that is, that is what some people are just here on the platform. It's okay. If you just came to receive, it's okay. But more than that, we expect that you come to the point that you also be an instrument, a channel where God moves and manifests. Did you hear me? We expect you wherever you are. So what do we say? Prepare yourself. Get into the place of prayer. Get rid of things that will distract you. Get rid as a minister of God. Get rid of things that will distract you. I did not plan to talk much. I did not plan to preach. I plan to pray for people. But you must understand that this supernatural power is real. And if you are expecting something to happen in your life, you must understand that there is sufficient power at the mention of the name of Jesus. The distance is not a barrier wherever you are. Distance is not a barrier. There is sufficient power in the name of Jesus to break the power of addiction. There is sufficient power in the name of Jesus Christ to heal every dead organ or cell in your body. 
There is official power in the name of Jesus to so dry up whatever tissue that is going abnormal in your body, whatever growth. Is it cancer? Is it going or whatever thing it is? There is sufficient power in the name of Jesus. And as I'm talking now, some things will begin to leave your body. Any demon that is residing in your body by the power and authority in the name of Jesus, I command right now, get out in the name of Jesus. There is sufficient power to rebook demons. There is sufficient power to control the elements, to control the firmament. There is sufficient power to speak into your destiny, into your life and career. There is sufficient power in the name of Jesus to unlock whatever the devil has locked. The Bible said that when Jesus Christ was buried in the tomb, on the third day, the people, the, the, the government, that set, they said they set a very thick wall, a very thick stone around the tomb. They said soldiers to stand before it to make sure that the tomb is properly guided to Lock up Jesus uh, that he never rose again. Uh, but the Bible said that a single angel came down with the presence of God uh, and the stone was automatically rolled away. Uh, and the soldiers fell asleep. Uh, and the mighty man of uh, God, our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, rose from the dead. So, who says uh, that your situation is so difficult? Uh, who says that your situation is unsolvable? Uh, who says that whatever thing that is you are carrying in your life cannot be? resolved. Today I came to announce to you that the presence of God, the power of God is sufficient to deal with that. Thing. Are you ready now? Open yourself up right now. Are you ready? Open yourself. Just open yourself up right now. Open yourself. Open yourself. Open yourself. I have already prayed for you. This for you now to connect to the available power in the name of Jesus. Now, if you can hear me and you have some kind of things growing in your body. Maybe there is some part of your body that is not functioning properly. It might be a lock in your ears. It might be some kind of, you no, know, your sight is not clear enough. Or maybe you are having some chest problem. Maybe as you notice that there is a demon inside your body. Or there is a demon in your environment. I am going to release the fire of God now. The power of God will come around you right now. As I am talking, you begin to feel around you some kind of current around your body right now. The power of God is coming upon you. I release the power of God upon you right now to break every yoke, to break every chain, to unlock whatever thing has been locked in anywhere they have your name, in any witchcraft covenant. I release the power of God right now. Bashanta bakato sokuriya katakale ba 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 shankata yaba be karanda koto shekata yaba. I release the power of God. 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 I release the power of God around you now. I release the power of God around you now. I release, I address arthritis on your right leg. I address that thing that is about to cause stroke by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. I address them now. Get out. Huh? Pack your load and leave that body right now. You demonic powers huh? about to cause stroke in that life. Already causing weakness and drying in the zone particular part of the right leg I address those things now by the power in the name of out get out get out get out get out I unlock finances I unlock finances by the power in the name of Jesus I release the power of the Holy Spirit right now. The Bible said uh, that Jesus Christ, there is sufficient power. God has given him a name uh, above every other name. By the mention of the name Jesus, every knee must bow. Every tongue must confess. Uh, whatever thing speaking from your background, whatever thing speaking uh, from where you are coming from that says you will never find it easy in life. Uh, today I take authority by the power of the Holy Ghost and I command now, let there be divine speed for your destiny. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, let there be divine speed for your destiny. Let there be divine speed for your destiny. Let there be divine speed for your destiny right now by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. I lose, I lose, I lose, I lose you, I lose you, I lose, I lose. I'm losing somebody from any witchcraft operation and witchcraft operation around your environment. I untie your environment right now as I release the power of God to move around you right now by the power in the name of Jesus. 
If you, are, if you can hear me and you are not yet filled with the Holy Spirit, if you can hear me and you are not yet filled with the Holy Spirit, with a dimension of speaking in tongues, I want you now to stay very quiet. Just stay very quiet. The power of God will come upon you now. And whatever thing you release your tongue, Allow him to speak through you. Allow the Holy Spirit to flow through your tongue right now. Bashandale bababo kusunti karanda da kata babo shandale ya karanda da bababo sukolia ba. Ba karanda ba kusha kata karanda kata kale ba 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 karanda da kuto shakale ba ba. Yes, now begin to open your tongue. Now open your tongue. Now open your tongue. Now open your tongue. Now, if you used to speak before, continue to speak in the Holy Ghost right now. Ba karanda ba bobo shakade ba karanda da kata kale ba ba ba. Don't let anything distract you right now, because some people you begin to catch a revelation of some kind of diabolic things that is going on in your destiny, you know, catch revelations and visions of diabolic things going on in your life. Barakata kobobo shakata kareva baba baba baba. Hey, pakarada koto shekalia karada. I undress that person that is dressed with a black cloth. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I undress you now and I clothe you with a garment of splendor. In the name of Jesus Christ, I clothe you now with a garment of splendor. An angel will escort somebody out from a very tight corner. Your destiny has received help from this moment. Your destiny has received help from this moment. You begin to notice some kind of strange move, some kind of strange help coming from people around you. Don't be afraid. It is the angel of God leading you out from that law, from that prison where they have kept you. You will notice strange help. And I release now by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Let those helps locate you in the name of Jesus. Let those help locate you right now. Take a rabbi yaba. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 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 Continue to pray. Continue to pray. Remember, it is your brother, Cassie Emmanuel at PNUR Nigeria. Plus 234-90-928-62555. Remain under the anointing and in the place of prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Beloved, you are welcome to another Pinot Global Day of Fasting and Prayer. As we all know, prayer is the opportunity that God has given to you to say something about your life. And I want to tell you that there are different dimensions of prayers. There are different dimensions of what? Of prayers. There are this the dimension of prayer you get to determines the kind of result you would have. And now that also says that depending on your challenge, you cannot pray like someone that is having malaria when your own situation is something worse than malaria. I hope you get my point. And so it is depending on how the body you feel in your heart. Prayer is generated, prayer is fueled by the burden and the weight of what the person is carrying. And so if you don't know how to pray, you have not learned how to understand the weight of your burden. You've not learned to go come to the point where you say, I this is what is my challenge, and this is the level I have to get to in prayers. You get my point. We, the reason we keep encouraging you to pray is because you feel that there is another alternative. You feel that there is, a, there is an alternative. You feel that there is another way to go about it. But when you see that prayer is the only way to go about it, prayer is the only solution, prayer is the only instrument that you have to fight this battle and win in life, in destiny, in career, in ministry, all round, prayer is the only way to fight this battle and win. Prayer is the only way to get access to whatever you would want, whatever you need from God, to any dimension and level you will get. A prayer is the only way. Prayer is the only way to get to whatever situation dimension you would want to get to. And we have been talking about the supernatural power. The level of the supernatural power you will carry is the level you can go in your prayers. 
Did you hear me? The level you can go with your prayer. The supernatural power is an answer. Is the answer to whatever situation in your life. It has the supernatural power has the capacity to deal with anything you are carrying on your own self. It also has the capacity to deal with other people's challenge that come around you. You did not hear me. I said that the supernatural power has the capacity to deal with whatever is troubling you in your own life. It also has the capacity to deal with any challenge that you are carrying. You get my point? How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power. Now that he went about doing good, delivering people, saving people, healing the sick. All those things happen. These are the way. This is a transmission. What comes out from the person that is carrying the supernatural power. But don't also forget that that supernatural power still has the capacity to heal you. Now let us look at something in that Acts chapter 2. The Bible said that the disciples came together waiting for the Holy Spirit as has been promised. Now I want to tell you among those people might be people that have waited for 10 years. Maybe they are having some pains. They have there are some things in their life. When the power came, the Bible said they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. If there was any chain or sickness in their body at that time, it would break. Because the anointing presence of God that has been generated through their period and in-depth nature in prayer. For those 10 days cannot hold, the, the chains cannot hold it. The chains cannot hold that supernatural power that came that day. And so when we are telling you to get into prayers, get into prayers, get to a dimension in prayers, that the chains will no longer be able to stay on your shoulders. The Bible said that the anointing breaks the yoke. Unfortunately, we think that the anointing that place is talking about is the anointing of, uh, that, you, that is poured upon your head. We feel that is the anointing of that the G.O. We feel that is the anointing of, of this social man of God. It's the anointing God from this ministry. No. That is talking about an internal generated anointing that it comes through your in depth nature as you draw closer in the place of prayer. And so we are saying there are keys to this supernatural power. You must understand that you have to prepare yourself. First thing is that you acknowledge that the supernatural is real. I was talking to a pastor some years back and I told him, I said, the supernatural is real. Spiritual things are real. You must understand that the supernatural power of God is real. You cannot come into reality with something you don't believe. You cannot carry, you cannot manifest something you don't believe that exists. The Bible said that those that will receive reward from God must believe that he is. The same way that if you must contact supernatural power from God, you must believe that the supernatural power exists. Yes, we can say Satan has power, but the counterfeit he is manifesting is only a proof that there is the original. You did not hear me. I said the counterfeit we see in the manifestations of God's power is only a proof that there is the original. The original.